There we go. 73% of all statistics are made up on the spot. You didn't hear me? 63% of all statistics are made up on the spot. <laughs> As you guessed, I don't have statistics for you. I'm here to talk about something a little more abstract. Um, I have a quote here that says, A pessimist is a man who looks both ways before crossing a one-way street. Now, I agree with some aspects of this quote, but I also disagree with some aspects of this quote. I don't believe a pessimist would even, well, I, I believe he would look both ways even if it wasn't a street that he was crossing. He would believe that bad things would happen in any case, not just this case. Um, right. um, and I do agree with the aspect that it's saying that um, he does believe that there might be a slight chance that he might get hit from the other side of the road when it's obviously a one-way street. He's looking at things um, in a pessimistic way, so I mean, I agree with that aspect, but I don't believe that completely sums up the, the pessimist man. Um, so I'll move on to my, I have a few things to talk about, um, pessimism, um, uh, optimism, and I mean, all right, pessimism. Uh, I've dealt, I, I've, I've felt, I'm pretty sure everyone has been <laughs> pessimistic in their life, and uh, I mean, that's, that's not bad at all. I mean, there are times when pessimism can be really bad, and I've dealt with this as well. Uh, I had a, my previous girlfriend, was completely pessimistic. I don't know if it was her previous experiences, but she was completely filled with doubt um, every second of her, like, I, I, I couldn't feel like, like I could bring her up to like feel confident at all. So that's kind of why it ended kind of fiery and tragic. So I mean, um, <laughs> I mean, pessimism goes a long way with people. Um, now, op looking at this quote from an optimistic point of view, I mean, I can't, I can't really come up with something that, that's optimistic about a one-way street. So, I mean, if you're going to make a quote about uh, a pessimist, like, or if you're going to talk about a one-way street and, and, a, and a pessimist, um, you kind of want to think about it the other way as well. I mean, what would the optimist do? Would he just walk out straight in the street expecting nothing to happen? Or would he uh, just look the one way because he knows that nothing's going to happen, nothing's going to come from this side? I mean, I don't think that you can completely sum up this idea with this quote. Um, I guess my point is, is like as much as you try to sum up things in a quote like this, it can't be truly like imagined through. I'm gonna go ahead and say that wasn't my point. <laughs> All right, but uh, I mean. Pessimist expecting something to come from the other side of the road. Pessimist would would probably think that something's going to come from behind them too. Thank you.
right, I, I swear you told that joke before. Didn't somebody do that one in class, you know, when we were talking about statistics as an attention device? Uh, it still was funny. It doesn't have anything to do with the topic, but it, uh, it kind of relaxes you a little bit at the beginning of the speech. It would have been nice if we had another joke to get us out of the speech, because it felt like you got stuck there at the end trying to get off stage, and you just couldn't quite figure out how to do that. And even though you... I can't say everything was smooth and efficient the whole time you were speaking. Up until that last minute, it felt like, you know, you felt pretty comfortable and you were doing pretty well. And then you got toward the end, like I said, in the last minute, it was, everything kind of comes to a screeching halt and suddenly all the stuff that you'd built up in the first part gets a little undermined by that. Um, maybe a little bit more planning, again, an organizational issue would probably help. Uh, your voice projects pretty well, there's good variety. Uh, the pacing sometimes is inconsistent, and especially at the end. I thought you had some nice naturalistic gestures at the beginning of the speech. At one point you do kind of cross your arms a little bit defensively, but you got out of that very quickly. And then at the end, uh, there's your, your posture just kind of seizes up and everything just feels like you were, again, uncertain instead of uh, talking to us in a more naturalistic way. It, it sort of feels like you, re you were having the conversation and, and just thinking about the subject out loud for the first three minutes, and then suddenly you realize, oh, I'm giving a speech, and holy criminy, I've got to do something here. And, and it takes you out of what you were doing and draws attention to the fact that uh, you've just got this awkward moment. All right, thank you.